Hey guys, it's Dan. Yes, I'm finally going to do it. I'm finally going to stop whatever I'm doing, all the craziness that's going on right now, and I'm going to um, spend some time to show you how to do your chain um, for your multi-cup turner. So um, the bulk of this video is going to be, um, I went and I got a chain. Um, yeah, I went and bought a brand new chain just so I can come home and take it apart for you guys out of the kindness of my heart. No, just kidding. Um, a lot of people are, are kind of intimidated by the chain. It's um, not difficult to do. So I'm gonna go through the steps on how to um, shorten the chain. I get um, a ton of questions. I do not do the chains with the multi-cup turner. People always want a chain. I don't do the chain. Um, it's something that you would have to do um, on your end. But I wanna give you some high detail and show you how to do it and, and, and dispel some of the stuff of it being um, difficult to do as far as um, buying it, you know, I get questions all the time, you know, how long of the chain do I get? Um, what size chain do I get? Um, I tell everybody, do not worry about your chain or the length of your chain or anything like that until you build your unit because you're not going to know. And that's one big reason why I don't do the chains is because I don't know ultimately, you know, what, I mean, I'm not going to finish it because I don't know what size, you know, or what length, I'm sorry, that you're going to need. Um, build your chain, you put your all your cogs on it, put it together, and then you take your chain, and then you're gonna drape it all the way around your turner until you know like what, what size, and you're gonna mark. You know, I need it this big, or I need it that long. Um, and then you're gonna take the link out. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today, okay? Finally, I know, it's been months and months and months. I'm finally gonna show you guys how to do that. Um, but why I have, while I have you, I kind of wanted to do a real quick parts update because I'm still getting a ton of questions. I want to kind of try to answer some of those for you um, and give you an idea of exactly what I do, what I don't do um, for the multi-cup turner. So before you do anything, go back, watch the multi-cup turner videos um, so you'll know exactly what parts you need and how to do it. Um, basically, right, you need the wood and you need the rotisserie motor. Um, you need the gears or cogs on the PVC slips. You need your large rotisserie cog, I call it, because this is the one the rotisserie bar goes through. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what I do um, and answer some questions that I've kind of been floating around that I get all the time. So you got to do the wood, rotisserie motor, and chain, okay? What I do is kind of the hardest one, and that is the gear on the three-quarter inch PVC slip, okay? I get that melted on there for you, and I get it melted perfectly centered. Some are like this, some are a little bit larger, just depends on what I have. They all do the same thing, they all work. Um, these all, are brand new i i know in my initial videos um you know go to your bike shop see if you can get used ones because they're very very expensive i mean i've seen these from nine dollars to 45 dollars i mean it's just crazy i have to buy tons and tons and tons of these in order to get any kind of price break to where i can come close to even breaking even on, on making these things for you guys. So I get them, take them apart. Um, I use a nine speed cassette to get nine speed gears. Okay. So I get these, I take them apart and that's what I, I use. So again, here's what I do. The gears on the slips. Okay. I make, put the wood, in the large rotisserie gear, the wood gets um, grinded down till it just barely fits and then I hammer it into place and I epoxy it into place. Okay. The other thing I do is the PVC football arms. I came up with the idea of the football a long time ago. Um, I have a thing that I invented where it actually um, it enables me to get the football in here without drilling it. Um, works really well and so when you get these they come centered I cut the tips off and they're on a 13 inch PVC 
pole. So they're called a PVC football arm, okay? So again, these, these, just drop something, and this, so this, okay? No chains, no motors, um, etc. cetera, so. Um, I hope that answered a few of your questions. This has kind of been a one I get a lot of, of, of people on, of, of questions. The only reason why this comes with a hole in it to begin with is because the, the whole bit that I use that cuts this wood out has a little drill bit and it leaves that hole, okay? As I've said before in other videos, I do not make this the size that you're gonna need for your rotisserie bar. You have to adjust that when you get it. Because I, rotisserie bars are different sizes and some are circle and some are even, some are, well, if you use the one we use, it's, it's square, the one by Charbroil. Um, so when you get it, <laughs> I've had it come up, they get it and say, wait a minute, this hole isn't big enough for my bar. That's right, it's not. So when you get it, you're gonna have to drill it out, okay? Because mine are, are square, um, what I do is I get, I start with this and I get a drill that has a real small bit. And then I kind of put four corners. So I go inside the hole, I put a corner, corner, come down corner, over corner. So it's like a little square. Then I take that same bit and I kind of go back and forth, up and down. And I kind of just keep doing that until I kind of square it off. Don't make it too big, you make it too big, I don't really know what you're gonna do at, at that point. Start off by small, make it bigger and bigger and bigger until it goes on that bar. And it goes on that bar kind of tight. Um, you don't you want it to kind of, um, you know, you don't want to move back and forth once it's on that, that bar. So start small and go bigger. I've had people email me, Dan, my gear is bent. Your gear's not bent. These are brand new. Gone are the days I can get used ones, so they're all brand new. They don't come bent. I don't ship them to you bent. What happens is when people get these sometimes, they don't make sure that when they redo the hole, it is straight through there. If it's not straight through there and it's at an angle, when it's turning, it's gonna do this. And it wobbles and your chain's gonna pop off and it makes it look like it's bent. So make sure when you do that, it's perfectly straight. Okay. So I think I covered a lot of the questions on that. It's a nine speed, get yourself a nine speed chain. Um, and if I do those, football arms, here's, here's a question I get, what size? And then I have people want, well, I want three different sizes. There's not three different sizes. There's two, small and large. Small is primarily gonna fit like your um, 20 ounce cups, 20 ounce tumblers and the large is gonna be for um, 30 and 40 ounce. And so when I tell people, you know, when you put your order in for parts, let me know what size you want. And I don't care, and you guys could get a four cup turner and order 12 football arms, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, just let me know, I mean, and if you get a six cup turner, then you know, maybe you want three and three, or maybe you want um, four and, and two. I will tell you, and Heather's kind of brought this up a couple times, when you're, when you're running the football arms on those turners, don't do a large and a small. Try to do, if you're gonna do a small, do a small on the other side, a large or a large on the other side, and that, that keeps your, your turner um, balanced and, and even. So um, the other thing, of course, that everybody knows that I've started doing is the, the single rotisserie turner. I'm going crazy with these. Um, everybody wants one. Um, there was one package where it was just this, and I cut the, the metal bar, and I put um, a small football on one on the metal bar and a large football on the metal bar. And then since then, I came up with what I call the, the PVC arm hack. Watch that video. It enables you. You put these little, you just use one bar. You put the little Nerf balls on there, and that enables you to slip your, um, your football arm On, and that goes all the way on and then it'll, it'll so I'm able to do that so I have a second package that I'm doing because I get a lot of questions people don't want to mess with putting the the football the nerfs on there um, where I, I'll do this one and then I'll include these instead instead of putting these on the metal so there's package one package two 
So when I tell you there's two packages now, you know. <laughs> um, uh, I have had people say, I already got everything going. I want the bar with the small Nerf balls. I don't, I can't do that because I take the bar out of the box to be used with the single turner. And um, so I don't have like extra bars laying around ju just to do a bar. And I don't know, I mean, maybe you can get one online, just the bar. I don't know, I haven't checked. Okay, um, I know that was long winded. You guys really wanna get to the meat of the video. This is the fun part. Um, so I think we're really clear on the parts. They're still available. You know exactly what I do and what I don't do. Um, and I don't do chains. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna make it real easy for you guys right now, okay? Um, I went to Walmart and got this, okay? It's a Bell 8 slash 9 speed bike chain, okay? And it's long. It comes just like this, and it has, where's the camera at? The hole there, and then the other side is the, is the same. It's got a hole there, okay? It's really cool because it comes with um, a master link that you'll, once you resize the chain, you use this to rebuild it, put, put it back together. Um, and so I got this from Walmart, 8, eight slash 9 speed. It's from Bell, um, and it comes with that master link, and it's 14 bucks, which is cheap. Um, I used to go to the bike shop, get used chains. One thing that I noticed, and if you can get a used chain, cool. If not, go Walmart and buy one for $14. This is kind of a cheap chain, and honestly, that's kind of better because it's a little bit easier to take apart because it's not really like super high quality. So you can go get yourself an expensive chain. Um, I like the, the the cheaper ones, a little bit easier to work with. Okay. Um, I know I say um a lot. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not that dense, but I'm trying to think of everything to say to make this go well for you guys. If you're doing a lot of chains, look at the back of this. It says requires a chain tool look for quick link 350 or 50 450 chain tool from bell if you're doing a lot of these if i was doing chains for people i, I probably would get it it does make it a little bit easier um, and from what i've seen online i think these are like eight or nine bucks for that tool and basically what it does is it, it's a little machine that uh, it's got a little um, carbide tip and it goes on the chain and, and you just cinch this thing down and as you're cinching it down eventually it, it goes so pushes so hard against the pin that it pushes the pin out so you know i mean if you want to get that when you're there and make things a little bit easier on you but if you're going and getting a used chain or you want to just do it at home i am about to show you how i do it with a hammer and um, a die or a, a um, nail or, or whatever so I hope um, that's answered some of your questions. You guys feel free to act still, you're welcome to email me. Um, email Dan at um, featherbeardesigns at gmail.com. I still, I know I, I don't always answer everybody, but I do try, um, especially now that Heather started her own glitter line. Things have been nuts. So we've been a little crazy and we try to get to everybody as, as soon as we can, but go ahead and email me and I'll try to, um, I'll try to answer any questions, all right? so. Anyway, sorry, it's been like 13 minutes. So hopefully you just fast forwarded to this part and get, get to the meat of it. Let's go in the shop and uh, let's take this chain apart. Okay, so once again, this is the chain that I got from Walmart, around $14. Eight slash nine speed chain. And this chain works well with the gears. I've already wrapped it around it to make sure. Um, and then again, on back, it talks about the the tool that you can get but we're going to do it manually and i'm going to show you how i do it so we got the chain okay the chain comes with this on both ends all right and the idea is once you've reset it or once you've taken the links out you use this it's a master link it goes in like that and then on the other end it goes in and then you put it together and you pull it. So I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to use is uh, a drill bit. And I'll tell you why in a second. 
it'll make it, things a little bit easier for you if you can use drill bit. And uh, um, I, this is like a, what they call like a hole punch or a die. This one was kind of big and I actually grinded the, the tip down a little bit. And that's what we're going to use ultimately. Like that. And that's going to push that, that pin through. You notice on the link, it's got a little bit of a, on, on the hole part, it's got a little bit of a, a lip that can kind of make it, and these things are pretty strong, that can kind of make it a little difficult to push through. So what I did is I got a drill bit, um, it's for metal, and I want to drill that a little bit because it actually will drill down and take, um, it'll take that lip off, making it a little bit easier to, to push through. You want to make sure that when you take the link out, you're left with another one of these, right? So if I'm going to take a link out, I don't want to take this one out because then I'm left with, with this. I want to take this one out because then I'm left with that, which is another one of these, all right? Um, I want to, so we're going to push this pin through. The pin's going to have a hell of a time coming out if it's going to solid wood. I'm going to take this bit and I'm going to make a hole in the wood and I'm going to put the pin right on top of it. So when I push it out, it'll, um, it'll go right through the hole. So I'm going to go get my, my drill bit and show you how to do that. Okay, so this is what I have on here right now. I'm going to change this out, put the bit on it. But I just thought of something. Everybody says, hey, Dan, how big are the holes? What do you use? Um, this is what they call a hole bit. It's got a drill bit in the middle that actually goes through the, through the wood, holds your thing steady. So when you're going all the way through, um, it makes a nice, nice hole. That's why these have a hole in the middle of them. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to take this off, put on our drill bit, all right. and we're gonna make a hole. Let's let's go ahead and do it right here. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Get the dust off. Can you guys see that okay? All right. So we're gonna pretend you went and got your chain. You um, wrapped it around your turner and like that. And you went, oh, okay, that's how big I need it. So I need to take that link out right there. Okay, so we're gonna put it over the hole and I'm going to drill, I'm gonna put this kind of like this, like so get a good, good grip on it. And I'm gonna drill that out. Okay, see what that just did? It, it took that lip off. See how the other ones have a lip and now that one doesn't? Isn't that cool? Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the shavings. All in one take. All right, move this out of the way. Now, this die I made small. I mean, you could probably use a nail. I'm just using this die and put it over the hole. And I'm going to hammer it. Oop. It's okay. It's not that difficult. See it starting to come out? So change my, my leverage a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. There's the pin. I don't know. You know, you could spend the $8 on the tool. I'm kind of a stubborn fool. I'd rather do it myself. So now we got, we adjusted it, right? Didn't we just do that? We just did that, right? Questions? Okay. So now we're going to take this one 
and we're going to put it through the hole from behind. Okay. Then we're going to take this one and we're going to put it that way. See with that? So now you put it in like that and then you give it a nice tug and it goes right into place. And look at that. It's all back together and we've resized our chain. Oh, goodness gracious, everybody, finally, we've done it. We now know how to adjust our bike chain. No more getting mad at Dan because he doesn't do chains. We can do it ourselves. Cool. There you have it. There's your piece. You could, hey, you could make bracelets out of these or rings. And I'll, maybe Heather will glitter them and epoxy them. <laughs> okay. All right, again, um, I guess that's it. Okay, guys, there you have it. Um, I hope that helps. Now you know where we're at on the parts. You finally know how to adjust your own bike chain. Um, I guess whether you're changing it for a bike or a multi-cup -bike turner, it's the same thing. So anyway, thanks again. We love you all. We have some awesome, awesome fans out there and an incredible following. Um, please be patient with us um, with getting out the multi-cup turner parts. Please be patient with us. Um, Heather is so inundated with the whole the whole gl glitter thing right now. Uh, amazing, amazing, awesome quality glitter um, and that everybody wants. And so we're really struggling to get those out in, in time as well. Um, so thanks for your support. Please continue to like and share our videos. We still to this day, although we keep saying maybe we should charge, man, we're like, no, let's just keep things the way they're going. We've got a great fan base. Um, so that's, you know, the best thing you can do for us is to just keep liking and sharing and uh, telling people to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And um, again, thank you for your support. Uh, we will be talking to you soon. See you guys.